Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan, also known as the Scheming Skeleton. And today I brought you a Demon Souls PlayStation 5 video. Uh, this video specifically covers how to easily kill Old King Doran at the very beginning of the game. So right when you start out, you can head to uh, Doran's room after you get the mausoleum key from Ostrava. And you can head right here, open the mausoleum and defeat him. What you saw in the beginning of the video there was me breaking all of the boxes and chairs and all the obstructions that will get in the way of this easy kill that we're going to be doing. So um, basically when they, when Bluepoint created the PlayStation 5 version, uh, it's my understanding they took the exact same code from the PlayStation 3 version, meaning all of the bugs and glitches and things that existed in that game also exist within the PlayStation 5 version. Um, so a lot of people, uh, you know, I had heard say, hey, does that work anymore? Um, a lot of people have said it doesn't work anymore. It does. And it's not something that they will ever patch out of the game because it is the original code for the game and they wanted to keep it the same. And this trick is you're basically going to be punching and headbutting King Doran all the way uh, to a stairwell, which you will then punch him off of. And once he reaches that stairwell, he will fall to the bottom and die. And of course, once he's dead, you'll be able to pick up the sweet armor that he's wearing. You'll be able to get the Eternal Warrior's Ring, and you'll also be able to uh, get Demon Bran. The way I usually do this is he will challenge you to the fight when you first walk in. Uh, and you saw I immediately went in, just did a backstab punch on him, ran away, and I'm getting him to follow me. Now, if you have your back facing to him too close, he could backstab you, so be careful about that. The reason I cleared out all the equipment in the room here, um, all the benches and tables and all that, is he wants to swing at, at any obstruction that's in his way. So what you're trying to do and what you'll see me do here is I'm trying to get him to follow me to the doorway. Um, it's hit or miss. Sometimes this is really easy. I would say like 20% of the time it's easy to get him to the doorway. The other 80%, it can be very difficult. For those times where it is difficult, you can just run behind him when he starts to path backwards to where he originally came from. And you can do what you're seeing here. You can headbutt and punch him back to the doorway. And the way his pathing works and the way his AI works is he will basically, as long as he's pathing backwards, then you can run around from behind him and he won't swing at you. In a moment here, what you're going to see is another character that I did the same trick with, and the results were a little different. So it took me, I don't know, seven to eight tries to do it on the other character because it's been about six months since I played the game. So it took me a little while to remember, you know, exactly how it works. Uh, this was first try on this character, but you'll see in a second with the other character, if you don't hit him in the correct path, then it just makes this process longer. He's not going to swing at you out here as long as you're headbutting or punching him. If you bring weapons out, sometimes that can trigger his AI to defend himself. So that's why you're going to punch him and headbutt him all the way to the end here. So what we're doing here is just headbutting him to the edge so that we can knock him off. And here's the clip with the other character. So we have him knocked off, and I'll show you what happened in a minute, but this is where the pathing can go wrong. Um, so sometimes he'll keep pathing backwards, and you want to make sure that you just straighten him back out and say, hey, get over here. We don't want you over there. I don't want you stuck in all that stuff. But he won't swing at you as long as he's running into unbreakable objects. If he's running into breakable objects, he will swing to break those objects, and that will kill you. 
Um, that's why we cleared everything out. So I sped this up a little bit so you guys didn't have to uh, watch me punching this man to death over and over again. I know that's fun, but uh, not fun to watch for that long. So you will see with this character, we knocked him off, boom. And this is how things should go right here. You should automatically be able to run down and pick the item up. If things go wrong, you will see the item down there is floating in the air. And I've had people ask me before, what do you do if that item gets stuck in the air? Well, it's very easy. You just exit the game, start the game again, and run back to the room that King Doran was in, and his items will be right there on the ground for you to pick up.